Hey, as always, good morning, friends. I'm Pastor Jim. Pastor Kathy and I are co-pastors there at Christ Covenant Church, at Harleysville, Pennsylvania. We're glad you're tuned in for our uh, devotional for today, for Friday, April 8th. As we've been doing during Lent, we're using this book, Kate Bowler's book, uh, Good Enough, 40-ish devotionals for a life of imperfection. And hey, that's all of us. We are all imperfect. And that's one thing we learned during Lent is that we are imperfect. But hey, because of God's love, care, grace, and compassion for us, we are good enough to be part of his kingdom and to receive the good news of life eternal, forgiveness of sins, peace with God, and peace with others. Not that we have to do anything or become perfect because we can't, but in our seeking God, in our accepting God's love, we are good enough. And that's awesome news for all of us. It's a beautiful morning today. I'm outside, outside the parsonage, and here's the backyard, you know, below the parking lot. When it rains, this whole field here is just one big giant sponge, and I'm sure that's what it is today. Hope you're doing well where you are this morning. Our devotional t for today, our talk is called Right After It's Over right after the rain from yesterday is over. On a long hike through an Indiana forest, I stumbled upon a spindly tree that had uh, tumbled off a cliff. Walking in the cool caverns below, I could see how the wind and the rain had eroded the ground underneath its tangled roots. I'm picturing this. But the tree did not simply fall. It snapped at its base and ripped over, in, tipped over into the chasm beneath. Much to the dismay of my family who wanted to keep hiking, I was transfixed. The tree didn't die. Or, as I announced loudly to my six-year-old, the tree made a series of important choices. At first, the tree grew straight down, as if surrendering to gravity. After all, there was nowhere else to go. But at the point of breaking, the remnant began to thicken. It must have taken years, but its roots grew wider and deeper. Then, in a shocking act of hubris, the tree decided to try to grow sideways. It added a few wobbly branches that stuck out utterly horizontally like a gymnast's arms on the balance beam. More years passed, but at some point the tree decided that sunlight was a good idea. Giddy up. And the only direction to go was up. This is what happens when you anthropomorph... Anthropomorph... I knew this word, I read it before. Anthro homorphize trees, I said, you know, putting uh, human characteristics into something. I said, shaking my head. But nonetheless, my eyes got misty as I traced how the trunk made a perfect U-shape and then rather impertinently grew straight toward the sky. Can you picture it? I have. Perhaps you know what it's like to be pushed off the edge. By some gust of wind, you suddenly know your precious lives are hanging on by so little. The human condition is all thin roots and rocky soil, and so you fall. When your life is snapped at the stem, there is almost nothing to do but watch yourself break. You find yourself trying to remember to breathe. You can hear your own voice, and it might sound strange. Time is slow and surreal. Is this me? Is this really my life? In the aftermath of devastation, the best we can do is survive. Try to sleep, remember to eat, keep breathing. Nothing will feel possible, but there you are. Another day. Even that may feel like a miracle. There comes a season when you begin to realize, I could stay like this forever. Overwhelmed and broken, who could blame me? Did you even hear what happened? It's unthinkable. The world I love is over now. Our self-help culture will try to explain to you that this is the time to become better than before. Get back up. There are no setbacks, only setups. This is teaching you something or showing you a different path. Doors are closing and windows are opening after all. You know, now that we're talking about it, you might even be lucky this happened. After all, this is an opportunity. The deep evil inherent in the perfectibility paradigm is on full display. Your humanity is now a liability. Your grief and fear and confusion and fatigue are wielded as evidence of your failure. You are not only a person who has lost, but a loser. Please, please, please hear me say to you, you are not ruined or broken or a failure. 
I'm reading that again. You are not a you are not ruined or broken or a failure. You are simply in pain and God is with you. This is God's great magic act, in my opinion. The more we suffer, the more we can't get away from God's insistent love. When life is hanging upside down, we must try to send all available energy to the roots, drink a glass of water, utter the words, God help me. Try to get outside. Tell someone that you're struggling. Don't forget to sleep. It might not feel like much. But with these small acts of nurture and taking stock, you are like my favorite tree. You are letting yourself grow straight down. Grief is a long story. Someday you might get try to get your balance stretching our branches out a little. Seeing if you can reach and stay stable at the same time. Perhaps a short trip. A more casual conversation with others. Letting your guard down. There will be days when you will be able to look around and ask, what is here? Where is there some ground to stand on? Is there anything that tastes good now that nourishes? Where is there room to grow? If so, you might be ready for a turn. Think about that tree. As my friend Nora McGurnany says, there is no moving on. There is only moving forward. Friends, that's profound. There is no moving on. There is only moving forward. Yes, there will be days when it might be crucial to pull down the blinds and lie in the dark or morally recommit to watching every episode of our favorite television shows, Community or The West Wing, Hogan's Heroes. But in the meantime, my dear, you are growing. You are tired and you might be scared. And you may have lost too much, but you are not finished yet. Not today. Man, this was jam-packed today, friends. Jam-packed. It's awesome. I'm going to pray and then some announcements. God, this awesome about today, about right after it's over. Uh, there's there, there's no moving, you know, there's no get rid of stuff. There's only, mo mo you know, moving forward. No moving on. Move, there's moving forward. God, wow. Sometimes we all feel like we're just growing down, growing sideways. Who knows? But God, help us. We know that you're with us, and we're thankful for that. In these days and times of trial and troubles, thank you that you are with us, and our community is with us, too. Thank you for the church, God, for this church, your vessel for hope and encouragement for those who gather with us. Thank you, God, for this church, Christ Covenant Church, and the powerful witness it has and, and has had in our community and will have in our community and amongst ourselves, bringing hope, encouragement, and righteousness. Thank you, God. God, we just pray. I'm just going to pray some general prayers here. We've gotten some good medical news from some people over the last week. We've got some news that people are still struggling with some things. Bring your Holy Spirit upon all to help with joy, to help with trials and consternations, Bring your Holy Spirit and encouragement, God. Um, we pray as well for upcoming Holy Week next week, Palm Sunday this week, and Maundy Thursday, Good Friday, and of course Easter next week. Thank you for this day, God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Just a couple of announcements. The sun is awesome, man, this morning. Hey, we've got Friday Night Light tonight. If you like these, we're going over these some of these devotionals in Friday Night Light. Join us at 6.30 tonight. Bring your own food. Uh, you know, um, 7 o'clock or 7.15 or so, we start talking about our devotionals. Then we pray later on. Uh, we invite you to join us. If you're hearing this, join us in Fellowship Hall tonight. A um, couple things. Madeline O'Brien, as we've mentioned, uh, passed away last week. Her service is going to be at Williamsburg Ecoffel this coming Wednesday, uh, April 13th. Visitation at 10 o'clock, service at 11 o'clock. Uh, keep gathering your rummage stuff, folks. Keep gathering it and sign up for different help. We need help, and uh, of course, it's a great time. Rummage sale coming up. Uh, mentioned Holy Week, and as always, our Sunday school information for kids Sunday school, youth group Sunday school, and adult Sunday school. Uh, th that information kind of standing information, but more information on that. The, the Zoom links and stuff will be sent tomorrow. Friends, have a great day. Uh, it's Philly's opening day. Maybe they're going to catch a victory today. The Cubs got a win yesterday, so we're glad about that. Maybe the Twins will win. Maybe, maybe we can have a great year in baseball. Have a great day. Be blessed and be a blessing.